all agree that some, not us of course, but some people would be hit by greed. Could we agree on that? So there's a potential danger that both parties will get so involved in greed so they could lose the whole deal. So what, how would you split this, guys? This is a pretty important question, by the way. Because when you start using some of these strategies in real life, you will end up in this position. You will make potential a lot of money, and then you're sitting there and you're supposed to split. Any ideas how to do it? By the way, there's something that could be even more important to the supplier than getting the majority of the NECO economics. What would that be? A longer contract, absolutely. I'm so happy you're saying that. Why would a longer contract actually have a major value? You can't put a pattern on a different size of a plasterboard. So how long time do you think it will take in this competitive world before the competitors are looking at this new plasterboard thinking, oh, that was a neat idea. I think we're doing that as well. Should we say six months? Then everybody else are doing the same thing. So what will happen the next year when you're doing an annual contract? You'll start off the same way saying, listen, my friend, it was a great idea you did last year. Uh, but hey, everybody else is doing the same thing, and by the way, they're cheaper than you. And you'll be thinking, oh, heck, we have to do the same thing again now, you know, going through the whole process. So actually by saying, you know what, my friend, you could get majority of the NECO economics, uh, but I just want a five-year contract instead. You know, that could be the way to do the deal. A quick question to you guys in the room who are in the sales role, and listen carefully about my question. What would you rather give away, a discount or the added value created in NECO economics? Would you rather give away the NECO economics potential or reduce your price? I know it's very black and white. Hopefully you're giving me the right answer. Do you know what? Giving away NECO economics and added value is free because it's money you have created with your counterpart. Reducing your price as a discount is utterly stupidity because that's hitting your bottom line immediately. So I'm not advising you to give away NECO economics, but I'm advising those of you in a sales role always to focus on giving away the potential of NECO economics because the value is the same. Just to end the story, these two parties actually managed to do an agreement. They sign off and the way they did it was that even before they knew if there was a potential NECO economics, they agreed the rules of the game how to split. Do you get that idea? Because if you don't see the money, it's so much easier agreeing whether it should be 70-30 or 60-40 or whatever, that's not, not really important. So they agreed that. And today, they're working very closely together. The supplier is actually getting a way higher price than they could still buy the product in Poland. But because of the total cost of ownership, the benefit to two parties is just outcompeting a lower priced product. Okay? What you really see here is the need to understand the real negotiation space. And sometimes people feel that the traditional negotiation space